October 4th, 2021, we have a bunch of UFOs that we're going to go over tonight, and we're just going to get started with this one. Check it out, a triangle trifecta in the night sky while a family captures this. Very... Incredible. What could be doing that? All right, let's watch this again. This is a really good capture. We're seeing a fleet of lights. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Even there's an adjacent one to the left. It's very curious, this trifecta shaped, people might even say a TR-3B, is this what we're looking at? Notice as it just hovers in the night sky silently. Very curious. And then we're getting this cool close up of it and look at this, They're, these are not flares. It's creating a vector shape pattern in the night sky. Very cool capture. I like that the eyewitness, the people on the ground, they didn't know what it was. You even hear a little girl talking. That adds to the authenticity and the legitimacy of this video. I like the way the lights just kind of flicker and hover, unlike anything you would see in a drone. You don't see any red or green lights attached to any of these orbs. They seem to be almost otherworldly. It's very interesting, these big sightings over neighborhoods, a community. It seems like they're getting closer. They're not hiding anymore. I like the way the family really captured the essence of this UFO sighting. It really doesn't get much better than this. This is a great capture. Now, we got so many UFO videos. Hopefully, everybody's enjoying themselves in the chat room tonight. Great to see you all. You guys are piling in. And make sure to hit that thumbs up. Now, get ready. We have this interesting snake-like UFO flanking its way through the clouds. Check it out. This one has me scratch my head. What is this? A serpent-like craft leaving a wisp of smoke, a trail-like behind the path of this dark orb. Is it one of ours? Now we got a good contrast to this picture right here. And you can see that this thing's connected. I wonder how long this, this object is. I'm gonna estimate maybe about 70 to 90 feet in length. This thing's leaving quite a tail behind its path. And what's it doing there? It's just hovering in the day sky, kind of popped up out of nowhere, and then it just kind of fades away and disappears. What was a reason or rhyme behind this appearance of this strange, unidentified craft? You can almost see the back end of the tail kind of even get a, even a little pitch darker. The person that actually captured this said it kind of looked like an antenna peeking behind the cloud. Very cool, great capture. Now we're gonna get to this next one. It's rather interesting, another sighting over a neighborhood. Check this out. Okay, let's get a close up of this. This isn't a helicopter in my opinion. We'd be seeing FAA lights popping all over this thing. And when you see a helicopter hover over cities and doing spotlights, you don't see this red hueish glow, these headlights piercing through the shadows, the, the mist in the sky. The bottom light does reflect something you would see in your typical aviation of a helicopter shooting down, trying to look for suspects. But this one seems a little tighter, the beam. And 
this is pretty low. I don't, I don't see any wind kicking off of anything. The person that shot this said this thing was silent. What is this? I want to hear your opinions in the chat room. You could even see this thing's casting a reflection, a lens flare off whatever this thing is in the sky, this strange oscillating vehicle. Again, I don't see any spotlight or even any rotor blades. Look how this object is kind of moving the sky around it. You could almost see that this, the clouds, the fog almost envelop this craft. If this was a propelled vehicle, you would see this fog-like nature just disappeared. It would be wiped away from the craft itself. Whatever's keeping this up in the sky is a big question. Now, let's get to this next one. This was shot by a friend over there in the UK. He captures UFOs all the time and he said, you need to share this. Coming in from the JB007. He's got a good eye over there and really captures unique craft. Now, check this out. Shift now. Cool, he's put it on hyperdrive, hasn't he? <laughs> Look at him go on us. Go on, my friend. Cool. Bloody hell. Look at him go. My God. What a performance again tonight. And it's the, uh, who's it? The second today, isn't it? It's over there on the woods. Well, this is what I really like. See where they just appeared from? They weren't there, minute. No, no, it just turned up, look. See them now, look, look, if you look in this, they're just sitting there, look, they're just sitting there, hovering. Look, they're hardly moving, look. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> you got to follow them, really. look at the speed, they just, they sort of go into hyperdrive. Our no, jets don't do that. They won't be doing it just in one area like that. Absolutely fantastic. There they are. The other one's just sitting right above the houses. He's decided to go up. One's going down. <laughs> this is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. That's not far away, isn't it? Yeah, that is, isn't it? Look at that go up. Look, I've got him here. I'm watching him, filming him. Now he's, he's, he's playing to help, he's going, he's coming this, he's going right. This is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Another one up there, Robert. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but um, something's happening. They seem to love this area. And all I can see is just beautiful red lights. And I can't see our military spending a lot of money on craft like that. Now this was from the archives and I want to reintroduce this to you again. Do you remember this disc-like craft flying in the sky? Look at the unique ways this thing moves. It went darts back left and right. Not like your conventional drone. You don't see disc-like drones too much unless it's modified, maybe created to create a hoax. But again, where are the blades? Look how it dips behind the tree and kind of just hovers atop the treetops there. Very curious sighting to say the least. This craft, it's hard to recognize any details upon itself. You don't see any mechanics. You really don't see anything. It seems pitch dark, just like a circle almost in the sky, an ink spot. But then you know it's there. You see it go behind the trees and it just traverses smoothly with almost stealth-like capabilities. This reminds me of the craft that we see in Colombia. These look like something that's not one of ours. Something otherworldly, you could say. This craft dances around with unique capabilities as people say when they see these craft these vehicles they they create motion and move with without rhyme they kind of just dance around with its own intelligence in mind i'm ruling out cgi on this one whatever we're seeing is in-house in the camera now the big question what is it 
Now here's another one that just came in that we're gonna be looking at. It's very interesting. Let's take a look at this one closely. All right, this is a good one. Look at the shape of this UFO. What is it? We see some nodules sticking out of this kind of cigar-like craft, you could call it. And it's kind of, it's bright. You can see it glowing as it just kind of traverses. As it goes behind the barbed wire, you can see that this is real. Now I'm gonna throw this out there. Again, could this be something maybe off in the ocean? I don't see any ocean line, that's for sure. So if this is up in the sky, the big question is what? what is it? Is it a blimp? Is it something else, a big drone that we're not familiar with? Something unconventional. We're looking at this thing. What keeps this thing hovering is a big question. Now we got this unique video that just came in a strange orb that shoots into the night sky. Check this out. Now, we got permission from the traveler. He said that this is not the moon because in the video, you see that the moon is in there. There's something in the sky moving very rapidly. Take a look. Is this some kind of maybe secret space force program or something extra threshold? We can see that this object, whatever it is, it, it's lit up so bright, but then it takes off so fast above the clouds. It, we're lucky we're able to show this to you because the traveler, managed to capture something, a moment in time. And let me tell you, it's lucky to capture these and we're so happy to share it with you. Brett, what do you think the Traveler captured? I'm getting a close up look at this. Yeah, Blake, you pretty much explained it all. It's whatever this is, it's a killer sighting. And the Traveler, uh, if he's on the road all the time, we've dealt with other truckers from Amazon drivers and they have seen the exact same things. These anomalous lights in the skies that light up the night and what we're looking at is something out of sight. I really like what we're looking at and it just shoots straight up into the clouds and at first I thought this was a flare, but it's not. This thing goes straight up. It's amazing, Blake. Moving super fast. Uh, share this link with your friends, everybody, and tell them Third Phase of Moon just captured something amazing via people around the world. Thanks to the Traveler for sharing this. The original link will be below. Take a look at it. Now, let's get to this.
All right, we're looking at the video again. We're slowing it down and getting a closer look at what David captured over Camarillo, California. And uh, I don't know what this object is. It doesn't look like any kind of drone that I'm aware of. Brent, any thoughts on this? Uh, this is coming out of California just after a major event over West Covina. But I got a feeling this isn't a balloon or anything in regards to some kind of advertisement out of nowhere. This is something strange, Brent, any thoughts? Yeah, Dave Murray did a great job. He's holding it really good, and it seems to be off past that tree. This thing has some size to it, whatever it is. Dave actually says that this thing made no sound, and it was about 100 feet in the air. He was stunned. Whatever it is, I'm stunned too. This is all a one-time shot. I gotta say, he's doing a very good job holding it as best as he can. Well, there he goes. He's, uh, I guess that's the end of the footage. Let's roll it back, play the original footage. I like, we're slowing it down. You see the birds just uh, fly by the thing and basically avoid almost maybe a collision. How, how big would you think this is, Brent? Like I'm almost thinking a small automobile. I like the way it turns. You know what? I don't see no prop propellers on this thing. This is not a drone as far as I'm concerned. Could it be something just drifting slowly in in the wind so what what is it a garbage bag i don't think so this is this is weird blake it almost has like a stealthy feature to it 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 seems like it has like a wing type craft on either side of it but it doesn't make any kind of conventional sense and then again no aviation lights whatsoever and i don't think it's Again, any kind of advertisement banner or a kite in the air, obviously this is something, in my opinion, maybe reverse engineered technology being uh, used to survey uh, California, the whole state of California. Anybody else see anything like this? The flight dynamics of this thing is uh, very smooth, but again, it doesn't look like any kind of drone, as Brent says, no prop propeller blades whatsoever. What would be holding this thing in the air unless it's some kind of anti-gravity in uh, action? David says he heard nothing whatsoever. This thing was dead silent as well as he was while he shot this. All right, I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight on Third Phase Moon, the moderators, the chat room. You guys rocked it tonight. Appreciate the super chats as well. Keeping Third Phase of Moon going. We'll see you guys real soon. Let's just go down the rabbit hole here for a second. Let's just assume this is some sort of adversarial or foreign technology. Most of the more than 120 incidents over the past two decades are not from the U.S. military or other advanced U.S. government technology. It's right in front of me, it just disappears. Oh, disappears, yeah, disappears, yeah. like gone. They clear he's referring to this giant object as a, as a tic-tac instead of a shape like one.